My name is Nick Armstrong, and I'm going to tell you something that I've never told anyone before. I speak Klingon. And by most accounts, this is what makes me an uber geek. You wouldn't be able to tell by looking at me, but um, <laughs> I found love, and I want to help other geeks find it, too. And the first step is identifying yourself. I'm sorry, I sprayed too much Axe. <laughs> identifying yourself as a geek. Do you wear too much Axe? Do you have a hat with a nerdy saying? Perhaps you associate with Klingons, have Hawaiian shirts, glasses, or an evil cat. Maybe you spend too much time rambling about Star Trek or Firefly. And if you're laughing about that, you're definitely a geek. <laughs> Whose neighbors laughed? That's right. That's not a bad thing, necessarily, because... That slide was up there for way too long. <laughs> That's not a bad thing, necessarily, because... Geekdom is, uh, is progressional, so the number of episodes you can watch in a single sitting, the um, in, in, intimate knowledge of fictional characters, like knowing that Jean-Luc Picard likes his tea or gray hot. So the prime directivism is a principal theory behind geekdom. We encounter it on a daily basis. It's the principle of non-interference with lesser developed cultures, and we get it all the time because many cultures would go extinct if not for the geek, like the people who ask us to fix their computers. <laughs> The... <laughs> Needless to say, Grandma doesn't get her computer fixed very often, although we're more than happy to correct the wrongs made by introducing primitive societies to advanced technology before their time. I'm sorry, I can't fix your computer. The Prime Directive forbids it. Grandma. There's lots of different types of geeks. Foodie geeks, Star Trek geeks, Star Wars geeks, Simpsons geeks, Firefly geeks, Buffy geeks, comic book geeks, and anime geeks. If you're wondering which of these I am, I'm all of them. I used to... I... Thank you. I used to have a car that was a piece of Gosa, and if you know that, then you're a Firefly fan. Everyday activities with geeks can be difficult, such as shopping. People-shaped refrigerator magnets tend to end up doing unfortunate things. And I'm not sure why tend to avoid things like energy drinks, office supplies, and electronics department. And speaking of which, if you know what to do with a closet full of um, kitty post-it notes, I'm um, all ears. <laughs> running out of space. <coughs> Knowledge of geek jokes is very important to attracting a geek. Here we have sharp objects, programming language joke, <laughs> the godfather played out with sugar cookies, and real life Photoshop. If you fail to attract a geek, also known as failing or lack of win, then you might have experienced one of these common errors. This is not nerdy. This is not the Millennium Falcon. What is it? What is this? I'll see you for dinner. Who wants to see some geek attraction in action? All right, Vivica. Vivica. I dream of a universe where they worship the night and the galaxy consists of your eyes. <laughs> Geeks love awkward silences too, and some of you felt that. <laughs> some geek date ideas include Wii bowling, land parties, and building computers, anything where we're not forced to go outside and uh, our pallor because it uh, tends to glow in the dark. I can show you things, but it would cause you to go blind. Beware when you're building computers that you don't experience a, a premature blue screen. But hey, we can still cuddle, right? Geeks have thought about this for a long time. And you know, one of the other things is if you have a lot of your mom jokes, but then it transforms into, well, uh, your mom's your cat last night, which it has in our house. Anyway, <laughs> don't be a bum if you're a geek. Don't be a homebody or a blimp, which tends to come out during games if we fit. Of course, BMI is bunk, so that's okay. Geek vocabulary is also very important. A directed denial of service attack was not what Vivica did to my pickup line. A 404 is somebody below average intelligence. A Gandalf is when somebody really fails. And Kapla is when somebody really wins. It's success. So in the final words of William Shatner, be yourself and love will steer the stars. My name is Nick Armstrong, and I wish you all the best at luck at finding Parmach or love in Klingon. Kapla. <laughs> <laughs>